Scott. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, you know, I had a, uh, uh, a great time. It was very interesting and uh, enlightening going on that ride along with uh, Officer Linson, who happens to love his job very much. Yes, he does. And uh, But before that, we kind of warmed up. I, I went for a ride along with you. and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I guess my first question to you is, how are you feeling? Uh, Mitchell wasn't in the car with uh, me two miles when uh, he began getting car sick. <laughs> So I just want to make sure you're feeling okay. <laughs> I'm feeling better, and that's the truth. It's amazing what will come out on Street Beat. Thank you very much, Captain. But, you know, uh, one of the things on the ride, like I just want to say, because we are in a holiday period, and this show is, is running during that time. One of the things that uh, uh, your officers, your department, sheriff's department, but most law enforcement are looking for are drunk drivers. So let's begin just with that and, uh, and the, the seriousness of that. Well, it's a very serious crime, and last year in the state of California, we lost about 3,400 motorists to the drinking driver, and uh, obviously law enforcement takes that very serious. During the holiday period, we have what's called a maximum enforcement period. That was combined with the maximum enforcement effort for seatbelt enforcement. In every holiday period, the Highway Patrol goes into a maximum enforcement period where we have virtually every available officer out there on the street. You know, one of the things on the, on the ride-along that, that really stood out, and a lot of people, if you haven't been on a ride-along, so you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't understand, but being out on a county road in the middle of nowhere, in pitch black, and I mean, really, other than the lights you have in the car or, the, or your flashlight or the lights that are on the, uh, uh, you know, your spotlights, um, like we made a stop, and it turned out like it was the, the, the people in the car were on parole, and, you know, they were, uh, you know, they were treated really well, and they were very cooperative and everything else, but, you know, that's scary stuff. Absolutely, and that's where the officer's training comes into play. Because um, one of the things I noticed was that working really well together, the California Highway Patrol, the Sheriff's Station, would back each other up in, in those things. You know, somebody would, uh, if the Highway Patrol, we pulled somebody over, sheriffs came around and came come over and see if, hey, is everything okay? And, Absolutely. And so. The uh, the cooperation between the agencies is, is fantastic. All right. One of the things that, that helps is uh, cooperation between citizens and, and law enforcement. I know that uh, there was a... Uh, a fatal accident which happened uh, recently. You want to tell us about that and how we can help? Yes, on the evening of November 30th, about 9 p.m. out in the Lake Los Angeles area, we had a pedestrian that was struck and killed. Uh, the vehicle that we're looking for, <coughs> roughly a 94 to 98 uh, General Motors, in other words, a Chevrolet or a GMC SUV or pickup type uh, vehicle, uh, it's going to have damage to the left front. So if you know anybody that has a vehicle with recent damage on it, please give us a call at the uh, Lancaster office of the Highway Patrol. That number? That is 948-8541. All right, very good. Now, and see, on those types of things, the smallest little detail of, of something you may, you know, I was in that area, I may have seen something, whatever, pick up the phone and give you a call? Absolutely. Again, it's a minor damage to the left front vehicle, and uh, we're currently analyzing uh, the, the uh, evidence that was gathered at the scene. But, again, please give us a call, even if you think it's nothing. Uh, that can turn out to be the vehicle we want. All righty. Once again, a 94, 98 Chevy SUV may be damaged to the left front. Chevy or GMC. All right. Uh, a couple of things. As we are in the holiday, we're going to be wrapping things up here. But a uh, quick reminder you have for folks, wear your seatbelts. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things that I found uh, in my short time out in the Antelope Valley is uh, the, vi the fatal victims that we're having, they're not belted, and they're our local residents. All right, Captain Rich, California Air Patrol. Thank, thank you, you very, very much, much, sir. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for the commitment of you and your and your crew. We appreciate thank you. you.